Hi, this is Kevin at DGM Camp. In this short 10 minute video, we're going to give you an overview of DGM Camp, what we're going to learn, how we're going to learn it, and all the tools we're going to talk about that we're going to use to build our marketing technology stack. Here's how it's going to work when we have the class on April 25th through April 29th at General Assembly in Atlanta. We're going to focus on the marketing funnel. We're going to work our way down the marketing funnel from a target audience down through the number of people who actually end up giving us their business or paying us money for our widget or service or what have you. And then we're going to use the data that we get from working down the funnel to work our way back up the funnel so we can plan for future campaigns. This is how the marketing funnel actually works. We start off with our target audience. The example we'll use here is Facebook. So if we place an ad on Facebook, Facebook will ask us to target a certain audience. In our case, we would target uh, individual, individuals in Atlanta who uh, live within about 50 miles of Atlanta and have an interest in some sort of marketing technology or digital marketing like AdWords or SEO or, um, or content marketing, something like that. We will target that audience. Now, we happen to know because we've done a campaign that Facebook's audience for that particular selection is, uh, is a certain number, and we'll get to that in the math, but we know that actual number. So then when we show that ad, when we place that ad on Facebook, we're not going to reach the entire target audience, but we know a certain percentage are going to actually see that ad. That's called our reach. Those are the people who actually see the ad. Whether they do anything with it or not is irrelevant. They see the ad. Then there are those people who actually do something with the ad. Those are our clicks or our website visitors. And we're going to measure that both in the number of clicks, but also in the click-through rate or CTR. So those people who click, who see the ad and click, they're going to be sent to a landing page. A landing page is created individually for each campaign. And in fact, we're going to create multiple landing pages for each campaign. So we can test which landing page works better for a particular audience. And we're going to use programs like Instapage or Unbounce or Optimizely to create different landing pages. Then when those people click on our ad and get to our landing page, we're going to ask them to do something. We're going to ask them to engage in some way, whether it's to uh, watch a video or download a white paper or, in this case, um, subscribe to our email list. Then we're going to engage those people with great content, great educational, valuable content. We're going to do what Gary Vaynerchuk says to give value, give value, give value, and then finally ask for the business when you've provided enough value. So when we ask for the business, that's what we call our macro conversion, where we're actually going to ask them to place an order, in this case, to buy a seat in DGM Camp. And when they buy a seat, there's going to be a, a hopefully 25 to 30 people in this class, and um, some people may send two or three people to the class so they're going to maybe get a discount um, and some have a, a discount a coupon from a sponsor but we're going to have an order an average order amount so hopefully it'll be somewhere near that uh, that price of nine hundred ninety five dollars but we won't know until the end so we're going to use that average order amount multiplied by the number of conversions or closes to get our total revenue and then we can say all right well how much did we spend to get to that initial target audience and then what how much did we get on our return on our how much return did we get on our investment that'll be our ROI so we're going to do an ROI for each individual campaign and that's really where we're going to be focused here at DGM camp is building the marketing technology stack and then running individual campaigns through that stack and measuring the ROI on every campaign that's how we get to our goal which we'll get to at the end of this video so here's how that math works this is our spreadsheet here. It's a simple spreadsheet, and you can have it. It's at bit.ly slash dgmcamp underscore funnel. It's a Google Doc, and you can have access to it. So here's how it works. First, we're going to go down the funnel as we place an ad and learn what our target, target audience will do. And then once we know some numbers over here, we're going to be able to take those numbers and go back up the funnel, starting with our goal of orders and working up to how big our tar target audience needs to be. So back to that audience that I said that we mentioned we found on Facebook. Um, within 50 miles of Atlanta, individuals who are interested in some sort of marketing technology or digital marketing came out to be 670,000 people. Now, I know from previous experience that we're going to reach about 15% of those people um, based on my previous experience at Facebook. So that's about 100,000 people who are actually going to see the ad. Uh, based on what we've already done over the past few weeks in generating awareness for DGM Camp, we uh, we got we expect over the total lifetime of this um, this particular campaign to get about 1,750 clicks. In other words, 
1,750 people out of this 100,000 are going to click on that ad. That's a click-through rate of 1.74%. So now they've reached our website and we're going to engage them and give them great content like this video. And we're going to ask them to click over to the, on the button that says sign up for the class at General Assembly. And from what we know so far, we believe we're going to get about 150 people um, for this campaign to click over there. That means our micro conversion rate, meaning people who we qualify as a lead, is about 8.5%. And then we don't know the answer to this question yet, but we're going, going to estimate that the number of seats that we will place based on this particular campaign is going to be 11. So we're going to get 11 people in the class from this campaign. That's our guess. And that means we're going to close, have a close rate of a little over 7%. So that gets us uh, an average order amount. We're just going to assume that everybody pays the, the, the full price. That's probably not correct, but that's okay for this particular exercise. That gives us almost $11,000 in revenue. We spent $500, so that enables us to calculate two more things. Our cost per click, or CPC, which is the cost we, the amount we spent divided by the number of clicks. And then we also compute our ROI. We spent $500, we got almost $11,000, gives us over a 2,000% ROI. That's how we go down the funnel, because we didn't know any of these numbers, these percentages, before we started. Now we know them, and we're going to run multiple campaigns, so we'll get to know our audiences better. So next time we run the class, we're going to start, instead of at the top with the target audience, we're going to start here at the bottom with a number of orders, a goal. So we want to go big. Next time we run the class, we're going to get 25 people from our Facebook campaign. Now, how do we do that? Well, if we know that on average we close 7.33% of our leads, we have to get a certain number of leads. That means we have to calculate our, the number of leads required. So that's a number of sales divided by our close rate. That gets us to the fact that we need to generate about 341 leads, assuming we close the same amount. So how do we generate leads? Well, we get people to our website and get them the information they need. In order to figure out how many people, how many visitors, how many clicks we have to get, we divide our number of leads by our micro conversion rate, 8.57%. That means we got to do get about 400, four, excuse me, 4,000 leads. Now you saw something else down here that changed as well. Now we know about how much that's going to cost us, assuming that our click uh, cost per click is the same, which we're running the same kind of ad, so we think it will be. And then of course we're going to aim for a nice high ROI. This is how we'll plan. So in order to get that many clicks, that many visitors, we have to reach a certain number of people. A certain number of people have to see our ad. That math is similar. It's the number of clicks divided by the click-through rate. That means we have to reach a little over a quarter million people. And that's okay. On Facebook, there's 1.5 billion people, so it's certainly possible. But how big does our target audience need to be to do that? Well, we can calculate that the same way. It's our reach divided by our reach percentage. And assuming that percentage stays tight around 15%, we're going to have to reach 1.5 million people. That's okay. Facebook has a lot of people. We will just have to expand our market, whether we go outside Atlanta to other cities or expand the type of people, the interests that are looking for us. So that's how we go down the funnel and then back up the funnel. Just like that. So now we're going to talk about how we're going to do that. We're going to build a marketing technology stack. Over the course of those five days, we're going to build a WordPress website from scratch. Everything you need to know to work on WordPress. We're going to connect that WordPress website to a HubSpot CRM. And we're also going to make sure that our website is SEO friendly, according to Google, search engine optimization friendly. We're going to use all the standards that Google requires in their search console program. We're also going to connect uh, and start a MailChimp account. We're going to collect leads or collect email addresses using MailChimp. And we're going to automate how those leads get into our CRM using IFTTT and Zapier. We're going to use Unbounce, Optimizely, and Instapage to create individual landing pages, multiple landing pages for all of our marketing campaigns. We're going to run our social posts, whether it's to Facebook or Twitter or what have you, through Buffer and Hootsuite. And we're going to do advertising and social posting through, uh, we're going to advertise through AdWords and Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn. We're also going to do some social posting on those as well. And to tie it all together, we're going to learn Google Analytics so that we can track every piece of traffic from the top all the way down to the bottom and see who our best market is. The goal of all this, as I mentioned earlier, is very simple. 
repeatable predictability. We want to be able to build a marketing stack according to our needs and execute marketing campaigns, whether they be organic social or uh, blog post campaigns or actual paid media through Facebook or Twitter or what have you. We want to be able to identify our target audience, identify our goal, connect the two, and create repeatable, predictable campaigns. That's the goal of DGM Camp to build a marketing technology stack that enables us to market with repeatable predictability. I hope to join us for DGM Camp April 25th. You can go to dgmcamp.com and learn all you need to know. Thank you very much.